We've all heard of Facebook and YouTube, but what about Grey Genie? Maybe not yet. But in this week's school report, KOM News' Erica Thomas shows us the man behind the up-and-coming site already knows a recipe for success. It's a little hard work and determination. If I miss class that day, etc. After MU business student Carrie Silverman missed a week of classes last year, he began to wonder if any tools existed to help him jump back into his studies. I wonder if there's a website where I can contact other students. Carrie looked for a site where he could talk to classmates and swap notes. Some say you can find anything on the internet. And so I said, well, wait a minute. There's, there's no website. I think it's a good idea. And where there's a will, there's a way. The only talent that I have is determination. If I see something and I want it, I'll get it. GreatGenie.com is Carrie's newest business venture. Great Genie, it puts you in that mindset of studying. A note sharing site for students on college campuses across the country. This site is not a substitute, it's a supplement. Carrie knows there's no substitute for hard work when you want to succeed. Quite often people get discouraged by some condition. Life wasn't supposed to be easy for Carrie. At nine years old, doctors told him he would be crippled by the time he got to college at MU, but it was his determination that kept him going. I'm not going to let someone tell me what I'm, if I'm going to be crippled or not. It was a misdiagnosis, but then he was re-diagnosed with Crohn's disease, an inflammation of the intestines that kept him out of school for 96 days. But even at nine, Carrie knew. Anyone can do anything that they want to. That's the bottom line. So that's why Carrie started his first business venture, a decade before Grade Genie. Carrie began mowing lawns to stay active and keep his disease in check. When someone tells me that I can't excel in something because of an age, because of um, the, my size, because of the way I look, or anything like that, that is nothing but a motivator to do better. His lawn business boomed, and by the time he could drive, Carrie had nine full-time employees. There's nothing more rewarding than to be presented with a challenge, overcome that challenge, and look behind you and look down the, down the mountain, if you will, and say, look what I just did. Now, 10 years later, Carrie works to keep his Crohn's under control and steps up to face a new challenge. Let's get a site. Let's change the academics. Let's become one unit instead of individual students. Let's become a student body. Let's help each other and let's succeed together. Great Genie is still a work in progress, but the speed bumps along the way haven't held Carrie back. He is a very persistent man. That's what I have to say. Um, he does not take failure for an answer. Even though the future of Great Genie may still be a question mark, Carrie is a bona fide success story, and his friends know he can do anything he wants. Hopefully he'll be president someday. <laughs> for the KOMU School Report, I'm Erica Thomas. And if you're interested in signing up for Grey Genie or have ideas on ways to improve the website, you can find links to the Grey Genie and the Grey Genie blog on our website at kwmu.com.